Well, now we're going to head back to my studio and we're going to create a vintage cabbage rose using the Aileen's Fabric Fusion Tape. Now, one thing I have noticed in my and all my travel is how many vintage markets are popping up. They are so popular. They're taking old merchandise and combining it with new merchandise or they're taking new things and making them look old. And so that's what we're going to do in this project. We're going to take an old t-shirt, upcycle it into a vintage cabbage rose using the Aileen's Fabric Fusion Tape. I'm choosing to use some recycled material from a leftover t-shirt to create my fabric rose. And I want this to be a no-sew project. So I'm going to use my Aileen's Fabric Fusion brand of fabric adhesive. I'm going to use the peel and stick tape to create the rose. I like this because it is permanent and it's also washable. The first step is to create a circle with your fabric. Now you can see that my circle is not very round and that really doesn't matter. And then what I've done is I've drawn a spiral on the inside of the circle. I've used a marker uh, just so that you can see it on camera. You'll want to do your spiral in pencil and that way you won't be able to see any of the lines or you can use a uh, vanishing ink. Then what you'll do is you'll take a pair of scissors and you'll cut your spiral all the way around to the center and when you get that all cut what you'll have is a piece of material that's kind of um, kind of wavy here it wants to curl because it's cut in a circle but you're trying to make it in a straight line just like this and what we're going to do now is we're going to apply the adhesive to the edge of this fabric and here's a little tip I'm going to stick my scissors in there that kind of holds my tape down as I apply the fabric here and I'm just going to line the edge of the fabric up onto the tape there it will pucker as you're um, applying it to the tape and actually that's a good thing because that'll create lots of nice little natural folds in your flower remember that um, you're trying to make something that is trying to curl into a straight line. So every once in a while you are going to have to bunch it up just like that. But you're going to apply the tape on the edge until you've reached the end of your strip. And when you do, it will look like this one here. Nice long strip. And I have the tape applied to the edge. Now I'm going to remove the backing as you've seen here and I'm not going to take the backing completely off. I'm just going to remove a little bit of that backing at a time because this tape is very sticky and it's just easier to manipulate if you do that. You can see it's sticking to my fingers. But you're going to come to the edge here and if you've ever worked with ribbon and made ribbon roses, this is a very similar technique so I'm just curling and rolling that in and this is making the center of the flower. The only thing different or at least when I've made uh, ribbon roses is that you kind of twist the ribbon and in this case we're not going to be twisting the fabric. I'm just going to be rolling and bunching and gathering until I come to the end of my fabric. Now um, as you start to build layers upon layers, as you can see, I, I'm trying to keep my, um, the edge of my fabric, the edge that has the tape here, close to the middle of the flower. And that way um, it will open up real nice. And as you come to the end of where you've pulled off the, uh, the backing, then you can just extend that and pull more. So you're going to complete this complete this by going to the end of the fabric. All right, before I finish my flower, I wanted to show you what it looks like from the back side. And as you can see, what I've basically done is I've recreated that spiral that we cut earlier. I've just wrapped the fabric around and around and around in a circle. And now I'm almost finished. I wanted to show you how I would finish this off. So I'm again, I'm just continuing that spiral to wrap. Now sometimes when you do these flowers you get kind of a cone right here. That can be kind of bulky especially if you want it to lay flat for a hair accessory or 
um, maybe you're going to put this on a pin back. So you're just going to take your scissors, pretty sharp pair of scissors, and there's a lot of layers to cut through here. And you're just going to trim that off so that it is somewhat flat, just like I did there. The end of your fabric should have this little uh, base here. It's not a strip, it's more of a circle. And what you're going to do is you're just going to keep wrapping. And that little circle base is going to go right over that bunch that you just cut up, that little cone there. And it's going to secure it down like that. And I know it doesn't look like much now, but let's turn it over. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fluff up these layers and just kind of arrange them the way that you want. Get them to look all nice and pretty. Now I want to show you how to create the leaf. So you're going to start off with a rectangle and you're going to fold the top down and then the side in on a 45 diagonal and then in. So you're creating a point. This is almost like napkin folding. Then you're going to come back with your fabric fusion tape. Add a little strip there. Let me remove the backing. And you're going to fold in again right along that center line and press and in right along that center line and press. And so the top portion of this is going to become your leaf like this. If you're using a pattern fabric or a fabric that you've already colored, you can skip this step, but I thought it would be fun to give this flower some color. So I'm now I'm going to use the Tulip Soft Paints to do that. And I have watered these down so that they're very, very runny and almost kind of like a, a dry brush or a tie dye. I'm just going to rub my brush over the edges and give this flower some color. This is looking oh so pretty and it's got a kind of a vintagey feel. Once your paint's dry, we can add all the elements and finish up this project. So again, using my double stick tape, I'm just going to tape on the leaf. And I've got a little bit of trim here. We'll put that on as well. If you're going to make this into a brooch, of course you'll want to tape on a pin back or you can add a little hair clasp. And you've got a beautiful vintage rose.